What's up guys? PM here. Gonna be playing some Gravity Beetle today uh, in Mega Man X3. According to our map here, it looks like Gravity Beetle's in charge of the airport. There's no planes in this level, so I can't say for sure. Maybe we're on just a humongous plane. I don't know. So I'm gonna do something a little different today. I'm going to be showing off some weapons. We only have two weapons that are worth anything, so I'm going to be using those two. <laughs> uh, the two weapons I'm talking about are the Parasitic Bomb and the Frost Shield, which I'm going to call the Ice Fang, maybe, if I forget that it's called the Frost Shield, because it's not a shield at all. But anyways, so this is the Parasitic Bomb. You'll remember at the end of Blast Hornet's stage, I trashed the Parasitic Bomb and said it was garbage. And it's actually alright. But now I'm using the, the Frost Shield, and if you ever watch any speedruns of Mega Man X3, You've probably seen him use this item. Watch this. Here, I'm thinking about what to do. Bang! Out of nowhere, he get that one guy nails me. A <laughs> jackass. But you, you see how the parasitic bomb works right there. It kind of makes other enemies blow up into other enemies. So here we get our, our next heart tank. There's actually a wall right there until you beat a certain stage. And I'm not even sure what stage it is. All I know is I came here and I was like, oh, that wall's down. So, yeah. The Ice Fang's powerful, but you gotta get right up on him to, to get him with it. <laughs> but you know what? That's alright. Here I'm showing off how after someone's hit with the Parasitic Bomb, you can uh, just kind of hang around. They won't hurt you anymore. Every enemy reacts differently to the Parasitic Bomb, which is what makes it interesting in my opinion. Some enemies will just stand there, and some enemies, like that purple guy, will, will fly anywhere to destroy anything. Alright, we finally get another, another robot upgrade. Fantastic. I look forward to it later. Bang. <laughs> These wheel guys just roll. They won't go up in the ground to get anyone. This is a cool sequence right here, I think. <laughs> I don't know why. Just kind of like it. But, um, so yeah. It seems to be a pretty powerful weapon, too. If it will kill, it'll kill in one shot, which is nice. Got another elevator here, but I don't have time for elevators, so let's just continue on with the level. So you can... That Ice Fang really is quite a cool, quite a cool weapon, but you gotta get right up on him. Don't know what those numbers are for. Are there different floors? There's only one more door, and it's this one. So, good job, guys. All right, so we got a right arm platform. I'm going to show off the new right arm we got, just because we just got it, so why not? But in reality, it's pretty awful. I guess the F stands for frog, I'm not sure. You know what, that armor can just hit the dust. All right, let's go for the real armor now. All right, the Chimera armor. Yeah, that's better. Get that dash going. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Sign over these pills, very slowly, taking their time to uh, fall into the pit there. It's alright. Got a little fun dashing area right there. It's always fun to do that. I don't know why. Some things you just can't explain. You have to have this armor or another one of the armors to break that wall right there. You can't do it with the tornado fang. And this is a purple capsule. Haven't seen a purple capsule yet. Purple capsules are upgrades of upgrades, and you, you can see this one is the upgrade of the arm chip. But, as I mentioned in Neon Tiger stage, I skipped the arm chip because it's terrible. So, we won't be getting this. And, also you can only equip one of four of the purple capsules throughout the whole game. And you can only choose one, and then it's permanent. So I wouldn't have chosen this one anyways. <laughs> But I wanted to show it off and show what the purple capsule's like. So yeah, no, give it to me anyways, but he won't. That's okay. <clears throat> we'll see him later. We'll get one eventually. So just continuing back on our quest. Oh, that guy just nails me. So good right there. <laughs> I love hitting these purple guys with this with this thing though. They just <laughs> I don't know why, it's just satisfying watching them fly into someone. So so here we are at, uh, at Gravity Beetle's garage. I've, uh, 
in the last Hornet video, I said that the hardest first boss to fight would probably be uh, Volt Catfish, but no, no, it would definitely be this guy. I think Volt Catfish would be way easier. And it's just because this guy does so much freaking damage. Uh, you'll see. This guy is definitely a worthy, worthy adversary. Um, you'll see his pattern is just really hard to avoid. He throws one lightning ball, and then he'll throw another one. And if you don't know exactly how to dodge them, it's just, it's just, and then even there, look, I get hit by one, it takes like a third of my HP. Man. But yeah, that's how you dodge it when he throws two. It took me like, <laughs> it took me a few tries to figure that out. <laughs> but then when he gets into his desperation attack right here, he pulls out this big black ball, and if you touch the black anywhere, you will get hit. And doing those small jumps like that off the wall to get to get through him and that and that thing, it's a uh, it's pretty challenging. It's easy to not to not do it right. Here I get hit to show just how much damage that actually does. If we didn't have any heart tank shit, I think that would probably probably do it in for X. So yeah, just two hits and he'd be dead if you tried to fight this guy first. This guy, this guy. So yeah. Gra that's Gravity Beetle. It looks like we are on an airplane because look at the background moving there in the background. In the, in the right. Okay. Um, so yeah. <laughs> it says uh, Gravity Well. Gravity Well is an okay item. I think they kind of phoned it in on that 3D animation. But what more can you do really? It's just a sphere. It's uh, It kind of sucks because it takes so long to kill enemies. But it will kill everything on the screen. It just takes a while. Get a password? Why not? I love passwords. So, um... Only three bosses left. Next time, I think we'll go to... Either the Seahorse... Or... Uh... Bolt Catfish. We'll see you then. <laughs> but anyways, later guys. See you. <laughs>